And all we're doing is using the angle grinder right there to grind away the little spots. Sorry about the shadows, that's just where the sun is. But you can see right there, that's one of the tack weld spots. And then in the corner, see if I can get out of shadows. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, I'll show you over in this corner. In this corner, we use the uh, angle grinder as well as we could. And then finish it off with a sawzall. And we'll just pop this metal strip off. Right here. Alright, so we're just cleaning it up there. We got all the boards out. And we're going to use a little bit of this uh, Rustoleum undercoating, kind of a rubberized product. And we're just going to put this. <laughs> there goes the compressor. We're just going to put this where the, uh, where the boards are touching, where we won't be able to get to. <laughs> I hope that came out. And down in here, I don't know how well you can see it, but this is an example of the old wiring that came with the trailer. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty brittle. I'll show you those channels again when I can get it more to the sun. What they did is they got some pipe welded. You might be able to see that. Some pipe welded in there. It looks like about half inch thin wall pipe. That's a great way to run the wires. No doubt about that. Protects them real well. But uh, these trailer wires, when they get old, they get all brittle. So we're going to give this trailer a whole new wiring kit and lights and everything. And here we are up with the tongue. And uh, on the ground here, you can see the most of the new kit that we're gonna put in. And then uh, this loom covering that's on part of the old kit, we're definitely gonna keep that. But like I said, these wires, they get old, they get brittle, they start to crack. As soon as they crack, then some moisture gets in there. And that's just the beginning of the end. So we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, we'll use reuse some of this loom, but uh, for the most part, we'll replace, well, we're going to replace all of the wiring. And uh, probably going to have to add to this kit. This kit came with the, uh, the LED lights that we got for this thing, which is in itself is an upgrade. Uh, but I'm going to have to add probably a little bit of wiring to it. Now, it just so happens I've done so many of these trailers over the years that I have a box full of pieces and parts um, all new for different kits so I'll be able to splice in the wires and we'll show you that as we go along okay well we've got all of the undercoating done this is all the stuff that we can't reach when there's wood on there and then you can see these splices the wiring on this trailer starts out obviously at the tongue goes to the edge and travels in these pipes and you can see there's another splice right there and there's another one up the front now this uh, gives power to the two front clearance lights this gives power to the two clearance lights forward of the uh, wheels this one gives the clear the power to the clearance lights um, aft of the wheels this one is where the left and the right tail lights actually split off and go over and this one wire comes back here and this is where the three bulb wire because this trailer excuse me light because this trailer is indeed over 80 inches now we've had to go ahead and order that and we've had to order one of the little clearance lights that mount in the back of the fender there but electrically we're all set to go there's there's power there at the bad spot and all these lights have been tested and the uh, opposite side of this one got replaced. So the bottom line is all the electrical is now done. Had to do a little modification. I can show you on this side. 
is we had to go ahead and fabricate a piece and weld this in to allow these taller LED lights to fit. They were, we just got them at a real good price. And again, they're all LEDs. And they had to be mounted a little different, mostly because of this, uh, the license plate, the way it was. The only way to get the license plate to show completely uh, to the rear was to move this out a little bit. It does leave that light just a little vulnerable, but hey, gotta make compromises. The owner of this trailer definitely wants to have everything from the legal standpoint, perfect. So now we're just taking our two by eights and putting them in and sliding them into that slot, marking them. This is huge. Don't forget to mark them. <laughs> Because uh, that's a pain if you don't know where it's kind of like not knowing where the studs are. And yes, done it. <laughs> and then of course the piece, there's a piece of a strip of metal that'll get re-welded in front here. You'll see that later. But for now, we're gonna get the rest of the boards back on this trailer. This is the part we like. This is fun to this is fun to do because we're actually seeing something get done. Okay. Well, we've got most of the boards in and uh, about half of them bolted down. We ran out of bolts, so we're just going to go ahead and wrap up putting the wood down in and getting it welded. We'll bolt the rest in later. For this last one, we ended up with a little over a six and a half inch gap. Those are all two by eights, and uh, this particular two by eight had quite a bit of a dog leg in it. So we just cut off one side using a chalk line and we've measured for the exact fit to that slot and we'll mark it with a chalk line and rip it down as well and then we'll set it in there. And there we go. And it came out not looking too, too bad. Having the one that's a little bit smaller in the middle kind of made it look pretty symmetrical. So now we just have to reinstall the piece of steel that goes in the front that keeps them all from bouncing in the front and we will be done <laughs> a little bit sneezing that's funny all right time to break out the welder and there we have all our tack welds back in place that holds the front of our new deck on. Now, okay, we're short a few bolts. No big deal. We'll put those in. We'll be able to run a line between these two sets of bolts, find out exactly where they go. No problem. We have a very loud rooster. Uh, so except for waiting for this light, this is the three element light that has to be on there because the trailer is over 80 inches wide. That's on order. And the uh, little light here that is also on order. Except for that, that is a done 18, 16, 16 foot deck on a flatbed trailer. And the rooster says goodbye. And there it is. Ah, rooster's got great timing. And there it is. That trailer is done. Probably going to replace that crappy old tailgate. But uh, there she is with all new lights and a new deck ready to go to work. <laughs> Thanks y'all. See you next time around.